A couple months back, I had uploaded a video with a drag and drop utility that was written in GTK4 and Rust. And I specifically remember that the very next day, I found one more written in C. It would be lame to upload a second video with virtually the same thing, plus the C one wasn't that good, so I skipped it. But here we are again, with yet another drag and drop utility that you just can't ignore because it's so fucking well made. A main difference with this and the previous two is that the others were made mostly for used on command line file browsers, while this one is blending perfectly with the rest GNOME UI. Let me show you, all right? Typically the app is on Flathub, but I want to start with the developer of Collector that is also the developer of Smile, one of my top five GNOME apps. You know there are some apps that by the time you start using them, you can immediately tell that their developers know exactly what they are doing and how to do it. It can be an emoji picker or a 3D editor, but some developers are destined to screw the user experience and they are going to screw it no matter the complexity. Well, not this developer. Anyway, let's install it. And by the way, I'm using a web extension that can open software app directly from Flathub. It works both for Firefox and Chrome, and I'll put a link on the description if you want to get it. Meanwhile, this is Software 46, and perhaps the developers added some extra goodies from Adwaita for this release, but this loading. Are you kidding me? This is exactly how you screw the user experience like a pro. And GNOME Software screws it for 10 years straight because it can't load a view without making you wanted to kill yourself. Just shameful. Um, let's leave this ugliness behind us and focus on Collector, okay? And don't even dare to ask for my wallpaper. It's stable diffusion generated. Do it yourself, boss. So, first things first. We have a color selection that I have absolutely no idea where it's used. But that aside, all the rest have super ergonomics. Let me show you a few things inside Preferences. Collector similarly with the Smile app comes with a complementary extension, and in this case the extension puts the window always on top for making our drags and drops more conveniently. I have the extension installed, but it doesn't work for me. Perhaps because I'm using a development version of Shell? I don't know. The other thing is that Collector also supports Plasma. I'm not completely sure how Plasma users would feel about that, but I can tell them this. Come to GNOME now you still can, because Plasma 6 lags so much it will greatly reduce your lifespan. And then one day, all together, we'll join a Rust desktop. Foxy and Foxy++. Um, the other thing, it obviously works better if you set a global desktop shortcut for opening it. It's time to operate it. Drop this. Drop those too. And here we can navigate both with mouse wheel or keyboard arrows. And there are some actions too, like opening a file or removing it from the clipboard. We can also download files from internet, and it's cool we can see the actual size, isn't it? After we grub everything we need, we can move them wherever. Just. Like. That! Looks great, but there are a couple of issues to worry us. For one, the collector actually uses the Flatpak normalized path and not the real path. You can see better if I drop the files on a terminal. The path is on a form of run slash user slash 1000 and so on, which is something not every app will accept as a dropping target, so we'll get file not found issues, and I believe that's a bug on XDG portal, although I didn't check. The other thing you need to know is that Collector actually copied the files, and it didn't move them. Um, and that's basically files crashing. Nice! So the files we moved before are also on their original place, and there is not a shortcut if we want to explicitly set the operation to move. With Alt and Drag, it will empty the clipboard, but it will still perform a copy. Originally, I didn't check on GitHub. I checked only later to see the open bugs. There aren't any really, but I noticed that Collector is actually a fork of PyDrop. PyDrop development is dead for like three years, but its design is still very alike to Collector, which turns out that the original design was based on Dropover from macOS, but with this minor difference. Dropover is like one million times better because the window is created on the fly when we select the files for moving them. How awesome is that? It's so amazing. Hashtag sarcasm. This video started with a full excitement and ended up with a full depression over a drag and drop app. 
Does GNOME has anything, just one single pixel, that is better than macOS? Those who use macOS, be honest, please. I know you are out there watching me and pretending you're using Linux. Speak, motherfuckers!